What is up bros and broettes, I am Slasher, and today we're going to be talking about what I believe is the most underrated weapon in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now the thing is, is that this comes down to personal preference, so you may completely disagree with me. You may think this is already the best weapon in the world, you may think this weapon completely sucks, and feel free to disagree with me, agree with me, whatever you think down in the comment sections below. It's, it's always great to hear other people's opinions, so if you disagree with me, don't be afraid to let me know down in the comments. Now, this is not only going to be just a single weapon i'm also going to be talking about an individual variant that i think is even better than the regular weapon itself as well so what is this weapon what is this weapon and as you can probably tell by the gameplay it is the mauler and not only just the mauler but i think most lmgs in infinite warfare are kind of underrated they're all actually pretty damn good in infinite warfare the movement speed isn't too slow the aim down sights time is actually really good on all of them and i think overall lmgs are definitely a viable option for weapons in infinite warfare but i think one the mauler stands above the rest and let me explain why so first things first lmgs in this game so lmgs in this game have three really good stats that other lmgs and other call of duty games don't always have the first of which is the aim down sights time so the aim down sights time in black ops 3 for the lmgs was normally about 0.35 seconds all the way up to 0.55 seconds whereas all of the lmgs in call of duty infinite warfare have an aim down sights time of 0.3 seconds when compared to something like an assault rifle, most assault rifles aim down sights in 0.25 seconds. So they are very much closer to assault rifles aim down sights time than they are an LMG in other games, which is a good thing. That makes LMGs a lot better. And not only that, but the magazine size. All of the LMGs in Infinite Warfare have a very large magazine size. The Mauler has an 80 round, the RAW has a 70 round, and the Titan has a 100 round magazine. So all very, very big magazines, which means you don't have to reload as often so then why the mauler so for most of the lmgs in this game once again they have pretty good iron sights the mauler included but the thing with the mauler is it has a very fast rate of fire for an lmg 750 rpm so if you are a player who plays game battles ranked player or a pro player this next tip won't apply to you but in general in call of duty infinite warfare weapons with faster fire rates are simply going to be the better weapons reason being in infinite warfare they've decreased the amount of aim assist which means weapons where you have more bullets and chances of hitting a target are generally going to perform better just because it's trial and error if you've missed a couple bullets you can readjust your aim and the bullets will go towards your target and the more bullets coming out of your weapon the more likely you are to hit that target so that is why weapons like the volk theoretically should be the best weapon in the game but aren't because the aim assist does not help them whatsoever what i'm getting at is these weapons with faster fire rates are just basically more forgiving they give you more chances to hit your target and that's why i think the mauler does so well in so many people's hands is because you get a fast fire rate with a pretty good lmg damage profile and as we discussed earlier all of the lmgs in this game actually have pretty good stats other than just damage and fire rate as well now the only problem with the mauler is the range is really bad and this is where the most underrated weapon in the game comes into place and it is the variant of the mauler the mammoth now this is an epic variant so it is a little bit more difficult to get but this weapon is insanely good so good and i think it's so underrated i think not only is it good but actually one of the best variants in the game so the two perks that the mammoth has is heavy hitter it doubles your damage and gives you a slower fire rate and sharpshooter increases your damage range now the thing that we said earlier is that the mauler actually has the highest rate of fire in the entire lmg class which means if you get a variant that increases damage and lowers the fire rate it should theoretically just make the weapon better because it will lower that fire rate to a level where the rest of the lmgs are at now it lowers it a little bit more than that but you'll see why this is a good thing in a second so as far as the stats go on this weapon the two negative things that happen to the mammoth are first of all your rate of fire goes from a 750 rpm to a 326 rpm and your magazine size goes in half it goes from an 80 round magazine to a 40 round magazine sounds pretty bad right 
wrong. So the good things about this weapon is it increases your damage profile from 30 up close and 23 at long range to 60 up close and 48 at long range. So it changes a 4 to a 5 bullet kill to a 2 to a 3 bullet kill, which is amazing, but that's not the best stat. The best stat is the range. So it actually over triples your normal range of a mauler. So it changes your range drop off from 15 meters to 50 meters, 5-0, which is just insane. So because of the way the stats on this weapon work, you want to stay within that 50 meters, which isn't actually hard because that's a really long range in game. But in that 50 meters, your time to kill is going to be 0.18 seconds, which is actually one of the best time to kills in the game. Now, the downside to this is you have to now be accurate with the weapon. Remember how I said before with the Mauler, it was very forgiving. You could miss bullets and still manage to kill the people pretty damn easily because of that higher fire rate. Now, with the Mammoth, you have to be super accurate, and when you are, you have one of the best time to kills in the game. Now, not only do you have one of the best time to kills in the game, you have the best time to kill in the game to 50 meters, which is just absolutely insane. So just as a frame of reference, let's compare this time to kill on the Mammoth to some other weapons. So let's look at the RPR Evo and SMG, and generally SMGs are your fastest time to kill up close, maybe other than shotguns. So the RPR Evo up close kills someone in 0.198 seconds, which is already slower than the Mammoth. But not only that, it only has that time to kill up until about 7 meters. So the Mammoth has a faster time to kill up until 50 meters. So very clearly you can just see how deadly this weapon really is. The only thing you gotta deal with is that slower fire rate, so you gotta be super, super accurate with the variant of the Mauler the mammoth. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think this weapon is as good as I'm saying, or do you think I'm kind of full of crap and you don't think it's a very good weapon at all? Do you guys like the mauler? Or do you hate the mauler? Let me know what you think down in the comments. And also, if you're new to the channel, you can hit that subscribe button and I upload new Call of Duty videos every single day of the week. So if you want to stay up to date on those, subscribing is the best way to do that. Also, you can check out my Twitch, Twitter, all of that crap down in the description. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, peace out. Oh